is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good game there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Marketwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 216, NASDAQ down 33, S&P's up 9.5, gold contract up $21.60, trading at 1753 an ounce. You got silver up, up 11 cents, $23.50 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 97 cents. $69.26 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10 year note down to up two ticks, rather, 133.19. The 30 year down five ticks at 163.02 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 149 ticks, trade 92.906. Euro 117, yen 110.45, and the British pound is at 138 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, we get an all-time high. Uh, we've been laying up here for quite some time now. I mean, we take a look at this. Uh, you can have a contraction of volume again. We're, we've been up here, let's see, 5, 10. We've been up here almost like three weeks, man. Uh, we'll see how this baby shakes out. Uh, my take is that we're going to be pulling back before we've gone to a next leg higher. And the reason I'm saying that has to do with the NDX 100. When we take a look at the NDX 100, what you have here is this, is that, what? and this is going to be subtle out here today, but we're going to have an expansion of volume once again, more than likely. And this is what you have. So with the NDX, you know, bottom line is that we made a high with 23, 21 million shares. We had an ABC structure that was saying, okay, 370 was the number. We did 369.91. It's like, okay, man, you, we've, we've done multiple ABC structures on the way up. I believe it was three on the way up. We have a high volume low that's laying out here um, at the bottom of the consolidation, which is 355. Um, if we get an expansion of volume today, meaning we only had 36 million yesterday, yeah, 35 million yesterday, you're at 25 now. If you get another 35, bottom line, that is saying you get a, a bit more selling. That's how that baby shakes up. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how it works out. Uh, inside the, the NDX 100 today, the strength versus the weak, weakness, you got uh, Payscar is up 3.2%. Uh, you got uh, CSX, the railroad company, up 2.9%. Activision up 29 Take it away from it. Moderna is down 15.5%. You got Zoom off 3.5%. You got DocuSign uh, down 2.4%. And AMAT is down 23 we go to the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. I believe that just made another all-time high. Well, this is going to get interesting, man. See, because the Dow, this is the, not only making an, an all-time high. This is getting away from the high. The Dow is up 218 bucks out here. We take a look at the Dow inside of the Dow Industrials. The strength versus the weakness. Strength today is Caterpillar. That's putting 52 positive points. Home Depot, 40. Goldman, 34. Taken away from it. Visa minus 18, United Health minus 14, and Salesforce minus 11. Let's go over to Caterpillar for a second. I got to see this Caterpillar. So Caterpillar, that's leading the charge. Okay, so that was already that that pulled back to its strength. Has some strength out here today. Okay, 
Gold, gold contract out here. You know, what's intriguing about the golden dollar, folks, and the bonds, we'll get into the bonds in a second, is that it's not even like the this number this morning, okay? There was no shock in this number, but yet the gold market liked it, the dollar didn't like it, and the gold stocks really liked it, which is which is just really wild. But that's the gold market for you. Uh, bottom line is that we two days ago you're at 1677. Well, we hit the 1756 out here. You're at 1753. Uh, bottom line, it's going to try to get back inside the range again. The range uh, is only at 25 dollars higher. It's not even 25. It's 22 dollars higher. Back inside 1772. Guess what, man? That basically is a false break downtown. You went against the strength where we were in, in March, and you want higher price. We go take a look at the GDX, and inside of the gold market out here, what you do have, you have a lot of island bottoms. Uh, inside the GDX, you get 17 million shares traded. I want to see more than that, though. G the GDX has been weak as to the number of shares that have been traded. There's no doubt about that. Um, after the close today, you are going to get some move in this GDX tomorrow, because what we have out here today, after the close today, you got Royal Gold coming out with numbers after the close, and you got Franco Nevada coming out after the close. Both of those have large waiting structures inside of there. Franco Nevada is up two bucks. Um, Royal Gold is, uh, let's see. Royal Gold is up uh, 211. Uh, what is also intriguing, Pan American Silver, they came out with numbers. Numbers really weren't that great with Pan American Silver, but guess what? They bought it. It just went from $24.97. A trade in 26.58. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the note and bond market. This is a this is a market, folks, that just will not stop going topside. What we had out here, you went down four days in a row. Bottom line, you're coming into strength. You rejected lower price out here again. Bottom line, wants higher price, lower yield. If we go take a look at the 10-year, we got to 133.09. Rejected it, trading 133.20. If you take a look at the 20-year plus the TLT. You're going to see the TLT rejected the 145.70 right now. You're at 146.35. You're coming into 20 million. You're coming into 22 million. You've only done 14 million. That is saying you still want, still wants higher price. So pretty wild how that baby is shaking out. Some of the higher vol. Actually, let's go look at silver. So we take a look at silver. Silver right now. That is up 11 cents. Oh, that's lagging. Oh, let's take a look at this. SIU. So, yeah, silver's going to need a lot more help. Um, silver's up 11 cents, and so, silver's a long way to go before it's in its higher range. Silver would have to get up to $25.85. Uh, but what you do have with silver, uh, there is no doubt, is that silver is volatile beyond belief. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, Advanced Micro is up $1.68. You got Madeira down uh, seventy dollars. We have uh, Ford up seven cents. You got uh, Micron Tech down eighty-seven. You have uh, let's go to Madeira, 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 and take a look at that. This baby, you know, had a monster expansion of price, and I believe you're down a hundred bucks in two days. Yeah, the high out here was four ninety-seven. You're at four three eighty-five right now, and this looks to me like it's going to go back to the last day with volume, which is three forty-two. Right now, you're at 385. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industries right now up 226. You got the Nasdaq down 35. S&Ps are up uh, nine and a half. And we go. let's go take a look at the small caps out here. So the IWM, and this is what it always seems to go on, folks, okay? The Nasdaq's going lower, the IWM's going higher. Uh, bottom line, you know, can it go test the uh, the 225? Yeah, you're at 222. It can. And what you're going to, this is what ends up happening. In fact, let me look at crude oil for a second. So what does happen inside, the, and this is where this gets always intriguing about really understanding what's inside the uh, indices, is that as soon as gold starts moving or oil starts moving, the bottom line is that you have a lot of those equities that are inside the, the uh, small caps. So what you have out here today, crude oil is up uh, a buck. And, you know, a rejected lower price at the lower end of its consolidation as well as where its sign of strength was. Um, you know, let's see what we did here. So we came down on uh, 595,000. It was going at the 562 as well as... Uh, 732. So that's 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 no doubt. That is a monster number. And then you're going higher today with 472. So that's saying, man, once again, oil's going to basically try to make a run uh, for the highs. And what this is, yeah, that's how it's set up. Let's go take a look at the uh, XLE and just in general, uh, let's see where the XLE is. Yeah, XLE is doing the same thing, man. You know, we came down. What did this do? I see. It went into the strength going all the way back six months ago. Uh, 37 million versus 57. Okay, one second. Let me put this on a weekly. Okay, so on a weekly. Now you can down with some volume, man. So the, the XLE you're going to have to watch out for. Uh, the bottom line is you did come down with some volume. We'll probably retest that area. Microsoft. Let's go take a look at Microsoft, one of the tigers out here. Microsoft right now uh, up 24 cents, trading 286. Um, the question is, is that uh, they're long looking for, um, you know, to, to basically add to the position. I wouldn't add to the position. If you're looking to add to positions, as particularly in the NDX 100, folks, I would, I'd wait. That's the bottom line. Uh, I know it's uh, <laughs> it be, what Microsoft has already done. Microsoft has already tested its highs. Uh, had test with light volume. It did it yesterday. Couldn't handle it. Uh, we tested yesterday with uh, 16 million versus 33. You know, so 
you know, if we get a pullback of Microsoft, uh, adding the 262 would be pretty sweet. And, um, you know, I know that sounds like a long way down, but it's not. In fact, if we do this, watch this. If I just put this on a weekly for a year, and then you take just the anomal retracement of the last leg. So a normal retrace well here, watch watch this. Not even a normal retracement. A normal retracement, folks, is a fifty percent move. Uh, a very uh, a retracement of point point three eight two that wants to go a lot higher, okay, um, would be two seventy one or two eighty six. A normal retracement would be two sixty five. And, and what you, you folks should do, and I heard Tommy talking about this uh, a couple of days ago on his program, you, you really should have your head wrapped around Fibonacci numbers because of the way that this expansion has been so cool and so big, it's important to understand that a .382 retracement, even if it's the best bull in the world, you can do a .382 retracement in a second and then go topside. Uh, but a 0.382 retracement is going to be a very large retracement because of the fact that we went up so dramatically. The last time I believe I've seen this was in 1994, to believe it or not, which is really bizarre, man. Um, maybe it was 96. I think it was 94, man. Um, and what had happened is this, is that, let me just pull this up for a sec. What had happened is that we went up for about 18 months straight without any type of pullback. Okay, so if I put it in a monthly, what did I say, 98, my God. Okay, so I gotta go back 30 years. Let me just see this for a second. Is that it right there? Nope. Oh, there it is, right there. This thing looks so small now, it's sick. So check this out. Yeah, so that, that's it right there. So, so picture this, so I can show you kind of what happened. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so picture, it was actually, was that 98? Yeah, it was the 98 Agent Contagion, I guess. Okay, that, that was the monster. Yeah, it was 98. So what ended up happening is this, is that we went nonstop in the S&P, the SPY, from $45 in 95. And we, we really never stopped to 114. And then we went from 114 down to 93, and that was like the end of the world, folks. And the reason had to do with the amount of leverage that was actually in the marketplace. You know, if it certainly had, didn't have to do with the amount of retracement, because you can see when you look at it, 118 to 91, it's 30 points. It's not big. That's 20, yeah, it's, well, it's a 20, it, you know what it was? It was a 20% hit in two weeks. So you can picture, if you are leveraged at 50%, 20% means a 40% hit, and that people got hurt. There was, there's a lot of people that got hurt on that uh, small pullback, folks, okay? So my point is, is this. Get an understanding of the equities that you're in, how far they've run, so that you can understand a .382 retracement exactly where you may go, because you, you're going to be probably surprised. The XAU and the HUI, let's go take a look at both of them. Both of them got a little juice out here today. You get the... Uh, XAU up three dollars and seventeen cents, and as I said a little bit earlier, you're gonna get we're gonna get some traction uh, and some action tomorrow because you get uh, Franco Nevada as well as uh, Royal Gold coming out with numbers. So what we did have is this: we came lower yesterday with uh, thirty-eight million versus fifty-three. That's good. That's real good. Uh, we go to the Gold Bugs Index. We take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. What we have with the Gold Bugs Index? That's up five dollars and sixty cents. This baby just saved itself, too, man. This is pretty intense. Let me, let me put this, develop, look at the volume up first. Okay, so that was coming into 38 million, and it did 23. Okay. What we're going to be looking for today is that what type of expansion of volume that we got on the way up. That's what we're going to be looking for. Um, I suspect that the... Uh, HUI is going to run up this 277 pretty easy. Uh, at that level, however, we are going to, uh, bottom line, get some flack. Uh, there's, there's no doubt about that. Let's go to Mark and Fort Collins. Hey, Mark, what's going on, brother? 
Oh, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good. 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 So, hey, throw the diamonds up on a daily. Okay. You wouldn't mind. Right. Let's start with uh, a point on July 19th. July 19th. Okay. Yeah, you stay right there. It's gonna. We're gonna do a quick break. But tell me, I got the A. The A. The A is gonna be 3:37. Yep. Yep. Up to either um, the 29th or. The second. Uh, oh my God! Both of them. I see what you look at that. <laughs> oh. Fifty gives you a fifty-six to uh, three sixty, three fifty-six to three sixty, depending on if you just see the oh, yeah. smaller just, one that just we just stay got right the there. Last okay, week. just stay right there. We're talking ABC structures on the way up, folks, and we have our man Mark from Fort Collins, who is an ABC up or down specialist. <laughs> no doubt about that. I love it. Stay right there, folks. To come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 230. Nasdaq is down 27. S&P is up 10 and a half. We're talking about our man, Mark, from Four Collins. We're talking about the diamonds. And, of course, the diamonds correlate to the Dow Industrials, folks. And we're talking about an ABC structure on the way up. And this is pretty intense, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep wanting to go short, and then I look at these potential ABCs, and I'm like, not yet. <laughs> Which is really cool, man. I know. And listen, I appreciate the phone call, man. You know, every time I see a name up there, I know we're going to have some fun, man. Um, so you could do the same on the spies, um, not quite the same dates. And it, it's had some heavier volume, volume pullback, so I'm not sure if this is accurate or not. But you could do the same 719, 8-point uh, on the spies up to... 
I'm using 726, so that's a 20 pointer. Then you have a pullback the next day, yeah, and if close, you count from it's, there. It's a, it's, a, it's a close call. Here, so let's go back to the diamonds again, just for the audience, so they can really see this, okay? So inside the diamonds, folks, okay? Uh, bottom line, yeah, you have an ABC up. And, and so what does happen is this. The definition of an ABC up or an ABC down, let's talk about an ABC up first, is that you go up and you have volume going up. You pull back with light volume, and then you take a B point out with volume. And, you know, the bottom line is that, yeah, we came down with volume on the 19th, but we're using that as your A point. So you can. That's the real bottom line. That's, you know, so... This is a legit deal, and I've seen these before, that you make highs with light volume. Bottom line, it's easy to take the B point out, but guess what? It is what it is, man. And, yeah, I would say that this Dow is an ABC up. Now, it's different on the spies, Mark. I mean, that, that, to me, I, well, on the diamonds, I think it's clear as a bell. Do you know what I'm saying? On the spies, it's, it's pretty tough. I had a couple heavy volume pullback days. Yeah, still, exactly. Uh, exactly. I'll still look at that B point with volume. Um, and listen, not a that, lot, but enough. No, and you know, uh, the bottom line is that you can kind of what, what you can do at the end of the day is this. So watch this, folks. This is pretty cool. You take take the this because this is what should happen. If this is gonna if this is a, le, a legit ABC structure up, what you do is this. We're gonna use. I suspect it doesn't matter which one you use. In fact, this is pretty cool. You could look at both of them. You could look at the day of uh, the 6th. Oh, the, you look at both, actually. You want to see it both. The 6th, which is 2.1. We took that out that of August. Or you look at the 29th of July. Now, what you do, folks, is that you take 6th or 29th of July. Then you take the index volume itself. And if that beats the 6th, and the 28th also, then bottom line, your probability goes much higher. That's an ABC structure up, which is pretty cool. So, This has been quite a market, hasn't it? It's been crazy. <laughs> There's yeah, no doubt. An ABC up on it, the spies, that's, that'll get you to uh, 455, which is another 12 points. Yeah, listen, man, I... You know, I mean, that CPI came in moderate, but my take is that uh, the bottom line, the, we're, we're in inflation, man. Everything, there's going to be higher prices on everything, period. So, Okay. Cooking, cool. brother. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Let's go to uh, Max in Houston, Texas. Hey, Max, what's going on? Oh, not much, Tom. I have a question on Marathon. Yes. So um, I sold some of my position this morning, uh, when it was getting about 12.30. Okay. Uh, the reason is I was seeing that it was kind of like a harami, you know, forming. Anyway, so I kind of like, I and mean, I still have a bunch of it, but when I see this, I see that um, it this candle today is going up against the one on uh, August uh, 16th, I'm oh, sorry, July 16th, and I don't see hardly any volume today. So I, I know if it closes higher, it closes higher. You know, I'm, but I'm curious. You know what your prognosis is for um, for marathon. Well, let's let's take a look at it. So yeah, you, you have marathon. The low for the year is three dollars seventy three cents. The high is fourteen thirty three. If we take a look at this, what you have is that when this thing came down, you know, bottom line, it came down to where the strength was at six months ago. Um, and it came down with tremendously light of volume compared to that. We're talking about 55 million versus 31 and versus 25. Um, so it's like this is building cause, it looks to me, to try to basically get up to the highs again. That's how this is set up. I always like it, um, Max, when it has a high volume high. See how that last high volume high took out the other volume high? 26 million versus 19. Now, you know, two days before that, yeah, yeah you had 50. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but it's, this is not a bad setup, man. Okay, so today's volume being low and being dropped in the last few days, it's not a big alarm then? No, no. And it is, okay. low, it is low volume today. There's no doubt about that. Most times yeah. what ends up happening is that, and that, that would set up, okay, you're going to have more of a sideways move. When you see something like this, you hear me talk about building cars a lot. This has to build cars yeah. to get through that downdraft. This is going to be a you know tough one to get through. You can see it's kind of set up pretty well. I mean, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Tra trading that goes from what the what's that June first, 
right all the way over to that uh, July 14th area. Yeah. Um, you know, that'll, that'll take some. I like, I like how this little baby's sticking out, though. Um, let me just put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, even on a weekly. On a weekly, it's not bad. Yeah. In fact, on a weekly, look at that. That weekly bar last week was a beauty, you know. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. I'd kind of stay right where you are, man. We think we're in good shape. Okay. Okay, man. No problem. I, I got a, I got a nice profit, and you got to take, you know, the, your bread sometimes. I, no, you, I you still always plenty, should. Plenty I, I, so, so this is I mean, a lot of shares. No, so, that, that's you, important. Though. Something to do. Okay, now, folks, something to do. Let, let's say you get a lot of shares, like Max says, a, a lot of shares. Intraday, what I do when you when you have a situation like that, Max, right, is I turn yeah. around and just put a stop, like only a nickel all day long under the equity. You know what I'm saying? A dime or whatever yeah. that is. You, you follow me? Instead of getting out. Yes. And then at the end of the day, I get out. You, you see what I'm saying? That's, yeah. some, that, that's just something to remember in the future. Do you know what I'm saying? Because what ends up okay. happening, if it ends up trending all day long and goes higher, well, you know, sometimes you do very well with that. And particularly because you were going to sell them anyway. That's my point more than anything. Because a couple times yeah. I've sold my shares and I say, oh, my God, why did I just put a stop underneath it and wait to the end of the day because the stock is up another two points. You know what I mean? It's like, okay. So. Yeah, I, I should have done that. No, you know, no, no. I'm I, not I, saying I, this. I'm, I'm just giving you a, a – it, technically, it's just that once you get used to that, what happens with all of us, you know, and I've believe me, I've even done it. Like six months ago, like, I want the money right now. And, and you hit it, and you know it's in your account. So I get it. Trust me. But if I think about it a little, I say, okay, hold it, man. You know what I mean? Put the stop in. I'll still get the money. And then I'll wait to the end of the day and see what happens. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Cook and brother. Anyway, thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Let's go see what a couple of the king dogs are doing out here. Um, Amazon. We got Amazon right now. Amazon is uh, down 36 bucks. Oh, okay, hold it. This is going to break. This is... So Amazon, you know, Amazon's never easy to buy on the way down, folks, okay? You know, Amazon, uh, three weeks ago, was 3700 3200 And, um, you know, you, now it's not going to be an ABC down. You're breaking the small consolidation. But the uh, bottom line is that Amazon can now make a run to 3000 now. 3000 you get a high-volume low that's laying out there. The top of that is 3009 The bottom is 2800 And I suspect that's exactly where we're going. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 205. You get the Nasdaq down 33. S&P's up 7.5. Our guest today, folks, is Pat Lago. Pat is the spokesperson for Local Shops One. Now, this is a really cool organization, folks, because the bottom line, they keep cash flow in our communities. Uh, local Shops One uh, it happens to be Tampa Bay's source for all things local. It provides advocacy, support, education for all locally owned businesses throughout the Bay Area. Uh, Pat Lago, uh, welcome to TFNN. Ben, thank you so much. This is great to, to be on your show. Thank you for the invite. Well, we appreciate all the work you guys do. So tell us a little about, about exactly what you do and how the you know, neighborhood stores are right now. I'm sure it's been, it's been a tough haul. There's no doubt about that. But how is everyone doing? Yeah, thank you for asking. It, it, not just in our community and several communities, of course, around the state of Florida and around the country. But yes. um, like you previously mentioned, it, it, it's keeping um, you know as much money as we can in our local communities. Right now, I'll be honest with you, I could not be more honest. I thought it would be a lot dire situation right now, but the perseverance of the Tampa Bay area, uh, St. Petersburg, Gulfport, um, a, a lot of the Pinellas County type cities, um, the 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 energy they're showing to make things work. You know, the big catch word is pivot. You know, last year they're pivoting to do something different yes. to make it work, and they've been doing that. And we're now we're seeing even more good old fashioned brick and mortars coming back in St. Pete and Gulfport, um, uh, online sales, uh, you know, different ideas that, that vendors and, and local business people are having. And it's, it's, it's working and it's, it's so great to see. Uh, it's just yeah. a great, it's a, it's a present uh, before Christmas to see this. There's no doubt. You know, you just brought something up, Pat, that's pretty cool because the, the national numbers came out this morning, uh, meaning on the amount of, uh, credit card sales going through brick and mortar and they went up yeah. tremendously which is really cool to see because when we start when we start looking at the local shops have you seen that a, local, a lot of the local shops actually are getting more business online now because that's something that they really didn't have before correct uh, some had websites and some did do things like that and this is kind of where our festival comes in too because it shows people oh this store is over here but I might be a snowbird who lives, you know, in Michigan. Well, how can I buy from St. Pete if I live in Michigan? Well, okay. they can do it online. So you're right. Businesses, the ones, unfortunately, that did have to close down early this year or last year, they are moved exclusively online. We were also helping out with that campaign uh, with as much free service as we could to promote those sites with local media. Um, and, and a lot of those businesses are doing well website exclusive some have now reopened some have moved to different parts of the city with a small a smaller brick and mortar still have their websites up uh so again it's that team uh, you know that team uh concept now to see everyone helping each other and and that's the beauty of what we're seeing in the tampa bay area now you just mentioned a, a, a festival so is there a certain time of the year I, I i know there is i'm just questioning when it is that you know, the push is on that you're saying, hey, man, this is the weekend. This is the week. You got to buy, 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 local, local, local. Yes, and that would be our Shopapalooza Festival. Shopapalooza is something we do uh, every year, except, of course, last year because of COVID. But we're kicking back again this year, and it's going to be literally, not arguably, but literally 
our biggest one and truly one of the biggest uh, local independent uh, shop festivals uh, in the United States of America. This is basically Thanksgiving weekend. So okay. right after your, your Black Friday stuff, we kick in uh, uh, Saturday, November 27th, Sunday, November 28th um, at, at beautiful Vinoy Park in downtown St. Petersburg. Um, and we have, uh, man, it's just a blast to see uh, this one. We have over 300 local vendors. Nice. We, uh, uh, Esther Venuzio, the creator of local shops, actually sold out vendor spots a few months ago. That's how good she makes this. So people cannot wait. I mean, the, the list to get on is, is amazingly long. I mean, she really puts on an amazing festival. So we're going to include as much as we can this year, besides not only the shopping and the festivals, but you know, we take up over 11 acres. So it's yes. the food, it's the drinking, it's the it's the bands. I have the privilege of hosting the entertainment stage with all the local bands. Oh, lucky you. Uh, it's the, the, yeah, I know. That's my favorite thing. Um, the nonprofits we work with. And just to see thousands and thousands of people like we saw in 2019 come in because there's no, um, it's free to get in. There's no registration. Yeah. You, you just come on in. And the weather in November in Florida is beautiful. And it's just great to see people uh, just having a good time and getting those Christmas presents and just experiencing, oh, wow, there's more uh, local businesses here that I need to um, cater to year round. And if you've never been to Vinoy Park, folks, this is going to be a good time to go. So it's is it the weekend. Pri oh, it's Thanksgiving weekend, right? Is that what it's Correct. Called? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. 27th and 28th, where there, it's uh, 10 a.m. to 5, both yeah. Saturday and, and Sunday. Uh, again, Vinoy Park and... Um, uh, there'll be trolleys, there'll be parking, everything will be on the website, shopapaloozafestival.com, and there'll be uh, uh, trolleys to escort you back and forth from some of the downtown parking uh, areas, because uh, so, parking can be at a premium over there, but we're going to help out as much as we can to vector people in, and of course, we encourage people, encourage people to stay green, use their bikes, walk if they can, and you'd be amazed how many people do that. It's amazing. Oh, no, we have a walkable city. There's no doubt about that. Hey, so let yeah. me ask you something. The the owner um, of, you know, Local Shops 1, did they start this basically as a venue that they could do, you know, basically events and, and incorporate the local inside of that so they could get everyone going? Yes, Esther. That is so cool, man. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Esther Venuzio is a special person. I mean, she's dedicated. I mean, the last, my God, uh, I met her in 2008. So the last 13 years to this. And then we start, she started the first shop of Palooza in 2009. Okay. And again, again, we only met the last years. But her idea when I sat with her at a local coffee shop in downtown St. Pete in 2008. Yes. She, she was. Uh, still working in the newspaper business, I was out of radio at the time, and she goes, here's my idea. Yeah. I want to do this with local independent businesses. And I wasn't too familiar with that, but I said, if there's any way I can help you, whether emceeing events or promotions or whatever, sure. I'm on board. And um, she immediately started this a, a much smaller scale in 2009 right. for the first show of Palooza. But yes, we incorporated, I want to say maybe maybe 50 vendors and okay. stuff like that and and, and uh, but to where it is now it just goes to show you the work and dedication that she's put in and the people supporting her and most importantly the entire tampa bay area you know you know what's so great about this is that this is a situation folks so you have a private entrepreneur that has a great idea that bottom line her company itself is going to do really well because everyone else is doing well I mean, that is that is the ultimate that I think we all would like to see. Do you know what I'm saying? That, and that's why I asked that question. Yeah. That is so cool, man. I mean, because I remember, you know, when Ray Clark was making McDonald's, I mean, he was excited to make McDonald's and all that, but he was also excited that he could make people a lot of money. And that's this is really cool, the aspect, because it's a lot harder for a small business to get the type of exposure that they're going to get at a, an event like the Vinoy. Absolutely. And, and and that's that's it. The progression of the venues over the years, you know, so um, I, I'm so happy to be to be there again at the Vinoy, which just, you know, you know, anyone in that area. It's just a, such a beautiful location. So uh, totally. I'm so excited. Well, listen, man, it's been a pleasure. You have a great one, safe one. And we'll have to get you on right before it so we can get you some more business, man, for sure. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Absolutely, Pat. You have a great one, a safe one. Thanks for all your work.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to our man, uh, Rich in Oregon. Rich wants to look at B2 Gold. Hey, Rich, what's going on, brother? Well, Tom, I was wondering uh, if this uh, uh, baby is finally going to stick its head up let's take a look they, they're all sticking their head up that's that's the bottom line uh and i suspect that yes you know they've been buying the golds all day i mean they started right at the beginning too and it's pretty intriguing man uh, you do have a rejection of lower price set that's 376 you're at 388 um yeah i mean i, I think you you know We'll see whether we get some follow through. Uh, this baby right here, I suspect, can you know run up to that 426. Um, you got an expansion of volume today, and that's what you're looking for, man. You know, I mean, it has it has some work to do, as do all the gold and silvers. Okay, um, but so we we need to see some consecutive days of volume, increased volume. That's what you'd like, yes. Uh, and what I'd like okay. to see, just like today, if you're in this market, folks, meaning in the gold or silver market, we had buying right off the bat, and it didn't stop uh, all day. That's the real bottom line. I can see. I mean. As the market's going right now, these prices are sticking, which they haven't stuck at all. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, we, we you can see, look at my screen, man. I mean, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, well, the NASDAQ's red, but, I mean, everything else is green. But when you look at my screen, most of these are, you know, basically gold stocks. But then you look at the notes and bonds, that's green, too, and the dollar's red. That's saying that metals want to go higher, man. You know, this note and bond market, 
uh, is a big deal. And what happened in the note and bond market today, by the way, folks, it was an auction, and the auction was really successful beyond belief. Um, and so that's why you're seeing these notes and bonds go tremendously higher, which in itself um, helped the metals market also. So, yeah, so I think we get action, but we do want to see uh, follow through. That's the real bottom line, Rich. Okay. Cook we'll see butter. what Friday brings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, man. Freaky Friday for gold. I'm telling you, man. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need, folks, is right inside you. Grab it and have a blast. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Please tell your friends about TFNN. Ask them to go to YouTube. Tommy kicks us off tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Building wealth 